Steve, news has provided a fairly rich seam of comedy in your work so far. Why do you think that is? I don't know why. Um, I started, the, the first news-related thing was a show that I did in the States called The Daily Show, which was a mock news show, and I played a mock reporter. And it was essentially a guy, a roving reporter that would go out and, and do these these uh, stories that uh, that were found by our, our research department. And, um, and I had no experience as a journalist and certainly no right to be doing what I was doing. Uh, none of us did. We were actors and improvisers, and uh, we were completely out of our depth. And we, we would go out into the field sort of pretending that we were legitimate news people and, uh, and trying to pull the wool over people's eyes. Do you find our industry slightly ludicrous? I think, yes. And I will say that to your face. Um, I think there is a lot of fodder for comedy. I'll put it that way. I, I think that um, it can be absurd at times. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a necessity. And it's, it's, it's something that people, news is something that people need. But I think what, specifically in Anchorman 2, uh, the way news is depicted is it's the advent of the 24-hour news. It's a lot of time to fill. And there's a lot of... Uh, inconsequential news. There's a lot of news that is there only to gain ratings. And, uh, and it, it, it sort of pokes fun at that aspect of the news that is more corporate controlled and, uh, and less about actual news gathering and more about um, earning the, you know, the ratings prize. You're saying corporate controlled. Uh, we're avoiding the word Murdoch. Does this feel I like a... I didn't say anything. No, I'm just wondering whether it, <laughs> whether it might you know, stab in the dark here feel like a, a fox satire. Um, you know, I th I think the uh, I, and I can't speak for Adam and Will who wrote the script and who the template for certain people in this movie are, but I'm sure uh, he was one of the inspirations for the you know the, the corporate head of this conglomerate that runs this new 24 hours news station. With an but Australian it's an homage. Out. It's an homage. It's not, you know, it's nothing more. It's it's certain. It's certainly not to take anybody down. Does anyone else speak Australian? Can I get you to say with me, how bloody are you? <laughs> the movie isn't, I th I think, a, a really harsh indictment of news, but uh, but I think it makes some valid and um, intelligent points about uh, how news has changed over the years. I want to talk about your character, Brick, a bit. He's mentally <laughs> not quite there, okay. right? Um, did you feel uncomfortable at all trying to get laughs from someone who, I guess the old-fashioned word is, retarded? I never thought of him that way. I always thought of Brick as an incredibly earnest um, and, and sort of childlike persona. He. Um, one of the things I like about this group and the, the four of us together, these four characters, is that there's, there's a real affection between them. There's a real support and there's, you know, they look at Brick as a brother and they are, they are there to, uh, to help and support him as opposed to uh, say anything or, or make him feel awkward. Brick is a liability when it comes to going on air. Oh, they're all liabilities. <laughs> they're all buffoons. See, that, that's the other thing. They're all idiots. And um, so Brick is just sort of the most naive idiot of the bunch. Thanks so much.